Hi guys! In this video, you'll see how the actors of the TV series MASH 1972-1983 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Hawkeye He is one of the best mobile hospital surgeons who is able to multitask without losing focus. He is determined but can also be cheerful, understanding and not alien to the problems of others. He is in great demand among women. He was played by Alan Alda. Maxwell Q. Klinger serves as an orderly. Although he is burdened by military service and seeks to exclude himself by all means, he takes a responsible approach to fulfilling his duties. He prefers to be realistic about the situation. Played by Jamie Farr. Raider works as a liaison in the 4077th hospital. He is able to treat others with respect and run around promptly, but he doesn't like to be overly responsible. He has difficulty maintaining close relationships with women. Bigelow assists doctors at one of the MASH hospitals. She has a rather hardened character developed over the years of her work, but still when conditions change, just like the rest, she needs to adapt, has a somewhat curious nature. She was played by Annie Kant. Francis Mulcahy is a religious man who, if necessary, helps the staff and patients of the hospital find the right way out of the situation. He has no malice and selfishness, played by William Christopher, who died in 2016 from non-small cell lung cancer. Corporal Benny Bryant was assigned to the 4070th hospital to assist the surgeons at hand. He often used his official position to get medicines and sell them at a bargain price. He was dexterous and not without a guilty conscience, played by Sal Viscuso. Charles Winchester is a surgeon who sometimes finds it difficult to get along with colleagues because of his pompous attitude. He seeks in everything the help and approval of the family, played by David Ogden Steers, who died of bladder cancer in 2018. Igor Strominsky was assigned to the MASH canteen, but he also ran other atypical errands, which sometimes made him resentful. He can be quite patient and is not inclined to provoke conflicts himself. He is not a highly intellectual person, played by Jeff Maxwell. Trapper John is Hawkeye's colleague. He is not deprived of morality, although it's sometimes difficult for him to resist women in spite of his status as a married man. He cannot remain unemotional, played by Wayne Rogers, who died of pneumonia in 2015. Henry Blake was the commander of the Hawkeye, who was not a supporter of strict army views. He doesn't try to please everyone without exception, but is quite friendly and moderately strict. Played by McLean Stevenson, who died in 1996 from a heart attack. B.J. Honeycutt maintains a good relationship with his colleague Hawkeye. Sometimes he is inclined to break the rules, is not used to following the lead of others and is not devoid of morality. Sometimes it can be selfish. The role is played by Mike Farrell. Frank Burns is convinced that he is a top-notch mobile hospital doctor, but in reality is not very good at many medical matters. He is cunning, seeks power and has committed illegal activities. Played by Larry Linwill. Danny Baker served in the US Army during the North Korean War. He has a highly complex nature, which has a significant impact on his work and life in general. For the sake of achieving his main desire, he is ready to do almost anything. Played by Todd Sussman. Kelly Yamato has a meeker nature than the other MASH nurses, not prone to sass, but capable of showing determination and expressing her opinion. She is extremely attentive and caring to her patients. Played by Kelly Nakahara, who died of cancer in 2020. Ginger Brailis 
Odessa Cleveland. Is a staff nurse and follows Margaret's orders. She has a strong-willed nature, is not accustomed to fitting in with others, and can put people in their place if they disrespect her. She is able to concentrate on a specific task. Zelma Zale is listed in the supply department and also performs necessary repairs on some of the mechanisms in the hospital. He knows aspects of his job well, but is not well versed in history. Played by Johnny Hamer, who passed away from cancer in 1989. Luther Rizzo, GW Belly, is a motor pool worker affiliated with the Mesh Hospital. Was proud that he and his family were Americans and aspired to find a lucrative business after his contract with Army ended, but is not ambitious and takes no action to do so. Sherman T. Potter has the rank of colonel and considerable military experience. He is serious, capable of leading people and is not lost in difficulties. He is able to make his position clear, played by Harry Morgan, who passed away from pneumonia in 2012. Sidney Friedman helps resolve psychological issues for both patients and MASH staff. He is not used to doubting his own abilities and is not gullible likes to play poker, played by Alan Arbus, who died in 2013 of congestive heart failure. Walsh is an employee of MASH Hospital. She is able to work at high workloads and assist the doctor for more than 15 hours. She is able to relate to people and doesn't stand on the sidelines when she needs to support her colleagues, played by Mary Jo Catlett. Huang Du, Clyde Kusetsu, is one of the employees of the officers' club working as a bartender. He is not accustomed to creating problems, and despite the fact that he works in close proximity to alcohol, he has no crane for it. Sin Pei performed surgical manipulations as part of the North Korean battalion. He has a rather positive nature, is not used to bickering and not prone to pretense. Played by Soon Tae Oh, who died of complications from Alzheimer's disease in 2018. Park James Sato is one of the soldiers of the North Korean army. For him, duty to his homeland is more important, which is why he shows coldness and even some ruthlessness to his relatives. It's difficult for him to listen to the argument of others. Quang Seb Shimanov is a member of the North Korean army and usually performs secret missions. He knows how to pretend perfectly and is ready to do anything to complete the mission. In work, he shows himself as an extremely serious person, dislike the Americans. Margie Cutler worked with Margaret as a nurse. She is able to take the initiative, not without cunning, and has an extraordinary approach to some situations. Able to act quickly, played by Marcia Strassman, who passed away from breast cancer in 2014. Calvin Spalding, a Luden Wainwright III, worked for some time with Hawkeye. He has a musical nature, at the same time is well versed in medicine and is able to perform surgery under various conditions. He knows how to express his disagreement with the situation. Lacey was a romantic interest for Hawkeye. She doesn't like being overly controlled in her work, although she approaches all medical manipulations with all seriousness. Able to show tact, but also doesn't allow herself to be used. She was played by Rita Wilson. Buzz Brighton leads one of the US infantry units. He shows no indulgence, is rather selfless, but is a rather poor strategist, although he himself doesn't see flaws in himself. Played by Leslie Nielsen, who died of complications from pneumonia in 2010. Joe Vickers serves in the US Army and is looking for new personnel for contract service. He is determined, persistent and can be extremely persuasive. Joe may well take advantage of a person's vulnerability for his own purposes. He was played by Barry Corbin. Erica Johnson 
was a member of the Mesh Hospital for some time, where she caught Hawkeye's attention and stirred up in him a storm of emotions. As a nurse, she has clear and quick movements and is able to show extreme concentration. Hot Lips supervises the nurses at MASH. She is demanding, doesn't tolerate a lax attitude in the work process and on rare occasions can make some concessions to female employees. She is not known for her patience. The role is performed by Loretta Sweet. Foxerman is attached to the same hospital as Cutler. He is able to do dental work, including cosmetically, but he can be self-serving at times and just doesn't do the favor. Lost Japan, played by Michael Lerner, who died in 2023 of a brain sizer. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it, and of course subscribe to the channel.